my channel my name is Nancy thank you so much for watching today's video is going to be this makeup look right here I will be using the Natasha Denona love palette this is originally supposed to be a Valentine's Day look but since um, I'm not able to put it up in time this is just going to be a beautiful pink matte look I have not posted a video for like a week now and I'm really really bummed out about that I really wanted to make time to post a video but I started working again so that schedule kind of messed me up and I need to now find a new balance um, of working and filming um, so you know I did it before I worked in film videos um, but my working schedule was at night before so I was able to just film after I come home but for this schedule, waking up early is really not what I do. I really like, I'm more of a night owl. I like waking up later in the day. But no worries, I'm going to find a, you know, a balance between this. I'm going to work it all out, find a good schedule for this. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. But if you guys are interested in seeing this look, this is the look that I created. It's a beautiful pinky look and it's all matte as well. So really, really new to me. I'm really, really excited and I really love the way this looks. So yeah, if you guys are interested in how I created this look that you know the drill keep on watching all right so I'm already primed my eyes with the P. Louise base and I'm going to start with the eyes as usual and we are going in with this Natasha Denona love palette and I think this is like the perfect look for a Valentine's Day look but it's not Valentine's Day anymore obviously but I am going to create a pinky look because um, I really want to, you know, just create that nice pinky look. And I feel like this uh, palette is more towards the pinky shades. So I'm going to incorporate those shades into my eyes. Pinks are definitely up my alley, um, especially when it comes to pink look. We are going to first start off with a crease shade. So I'm going in with Intense. It's a nice um, darker pink shade. This nice color payoff. All right, and then I want to go in with Valentine. This is the nice baby pink shade next to the shade that I just used. It's very light. Just putting that all over my eyes, like right underneath the crease. For the outer corner, I'm going in with Soul. I might, I might go in with this giving shade. This is like a nice light pink shade. Um, I don't know. Okay, I might just stay with this matte look for now. And if I do change my mind, I'll change it along the way. But let's just, let's go ahead and move on to the face. And I am going to prime with this pure cosmetic four-in-one correcting primer so i did get this primer in my boxy charm and i do have my boxy charm unboxing coming up um so stay tuned for that i actually really love this primer because it's so hydrating for foundation i want to go in with my luminous silk foundation from giorgio armani i haven't used this in a while i'm actually running out of this so i want to use it up For concealer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Elf Camel Concealer. This is in the shade Light Sand. All 
All right, so I know my face look a little bit lighter right now, but I am going to powder my face, bronze it, and blush it, and all of that. So it's gonna come back to normal in a bit. So let's get that going. From bronzer, of course, my trusty Marc Jacobs. Blush, I am going in with this Buxom Wonderless Primer Infused Blush, and this is in the shade Mykonos. I love these blushes, so I didn't mention about these Buxom blushes. Uh, I do have the shade Seychelles. So I just recently bought this one because I wanted to try obviously like more shades and this is actually my first time using this one and it's not as bright as you would think. Like it's really really subtle which is really nice so you can definitely build up the colors. So I'm going back to the eyes. I'm thinking of just keeping the eyes this way because I really do like it. Um, so I'm just going to finish the lower lash line. I'm going to finish the lower lash line off and I don't, I'm thinking of um, not adding any eyeliner, so I'm just gonna keep it like a nice matte eye look. Going in with Marc Jacobs Pink of Me eyeliner. This one is going to brighten up my eyes. And for lashes, going in with the Doe Lashes. These are in the style Morning Dew. I'm done with my lashes. I love these lashes. They're a little bit more soft and not as dramatic as other lashes. So I feel like I can definitely see the, look, the eye look a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to just use some colors in the inner corner. I'm going in with First. It's this nice white shade. It's also a matte shade. I don't really want to disrupt it with any like shimmers on my eyes. Just going to apply that right. It's like a really nice soft shade. Yes. For highlighter, I've been really loving this glaze lit kit from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, we are going to try this rose all day shade since it's like more of a pinky look. I really want to go in with this one instead. Nice. You can definitely see the pinkiness of this highlighter, but you can also see like that it looks so like wet on the face. I love it. For lips, I'm going in with this pink shade right here. This is the Sugar Rush Sugar Coat. Um, liquid lipstick. This is a velvet liquid lipstick in the shade Cake Pop. Uh, as you can see, it's like a true baby pink shade. I finally got my hands on this setting spray. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Alright, so this concludes the look. I'm really happy with this look. I love that it's all matte. It has no shimmers. My lips are matte. I mean, I do have a little bit of glow on my face. I cannot not have any highlighter on my face anymore after discovering highlighters. Um, but I really do like this matte look and I just feel like I just feel like it all came together really beautifully. So I'm really happy with it. Nice pink shades. 
And of course, big shout out to this beautiful Love Palette from Natasha Denona. The shades are just so amazing. The formulas are amazing. I really do want to try the rest of the colors in this palette. So yeah, this concludes my video. So thank you all so much for watching. I know I've been MIA for a while, but hopefully I'll be back after my work schedule and everything comes together. Um, I will definitely find a schedule for that. So stay tuned for more videos. I do have a lot more videos that I'm going to be filming. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my little family here on YouTube. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.